does not end until we get that there good good gilk that's a lie I hope it happens though dude I figured out how to put clothes on my guys they they they're listening. They're listening to me. All it took was a lot of slamming my head against a wall. And a lot of- a lot less being picky. I kind of just did this thing where I, I- I just told everyone in my militia that they can kind of do what they want as long as they're wearing things and picking up weapons. So it's kind of like dealer's choice. Everyone's like just grabbing what they like. They got what they want now. They can get whatever they want. It's their destiny. Deal your own hand. I don't care. Bring your own deck. Do whatever you want. Just please be wearing clothes. And just like get a weapon. Just have something. If that- look dude, I, it's not like I'm- look, here's the thing. If any of them were skilled, if any of the people in my militia were skilled, I'd care. They're not. They're all very normal. So if they die because they didn't put clothes on, despite the fact I made it for them, well, that's on them then. All right, I don't know what else to- that's on them then. But I will say this, while I was testing that, we got our first visitors. We got our first people that are just coming to town because they wanna. People are like, showing up and they're like, looking around and they're going, Damn, nice place. And that means it's time to get law enforcement in order. First job of the day is to get a sheriff and make a prison. Because <laughs> if we have random people coming into town that we don't know, we don't know them. Okay, what if there's some kind of psycho? What if there's some kind of psycho? I'm building a wall. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna build a wall. You see, I'm gonna make a wall around the whole base. <laughs> gonna build a wall. It's ironic because quite literally the one thing we need in our fort right now is migrants. <laughs> We literally didn't get any, dude. The game was like, hey, dude, here comes another migrant wave. You survived the whole year. Here's your big fucking, like, here's your big, big new swarm, and no one showed up. I think they got killed by someone. The whole game's all, like, simulated. Maybe they got murdered <laughs> on the way from whichever town they started in. Maybe, like, there's some creature in the woods outside the base. My first migrant was a doctor. He immediately went to the mine, mauled, and got mauled by a giant salamander. My doctor doesn't wander because I gave him a job. It sounds like you didn't give your doctor a job, like, to be a doctor. You kind of just let him do whatever he wanted, so he just got to be a miner. Yeah, my doctor stays in the hospital. See, I was just hoping I could get to, like, 40 dwarves, because if I get to 40 dwarves... We've officially reached the point where I have enough hands on deck that I can reasonably, like, 
grab five or ten of them and be like, you guys are the military. But we still don't have enough people to get that, which is kind of my problem. We don't have enough that I'm willing to be like, these guys are the militia. These guys are the military. Here's a barracks for you. But I do think it's time to split the uh, construction uh, with um, like a new living zone. So what I might actually do is like move all the craft stuff to a new level or move the living zone and like make a better formatted like living area, make some proper smaller dorms and stuff rather than the fucking giant thing. Turn the big room with all the beds into a barracks for military. Kind of split it up a little bit more and get us some more space. I do think that's on the table. You can totally handle 40 dwarves. Oh yeah, no, I mean, the main the main thing about Dwarf Fortress is like usually the the cap for the game is default two hundred. You can go far beyond that. Technically, it's just the game will start to break. But uh, yeah, I would like more than the twenty I have. I wish Rimworld could handle forty dwarves. Dude, Rimworld, you can barely handle fucking five like people before some some of them just start pissing their pants and crying. I was being sarcastic, you chaotic animal. Okay, man, chill. All right, man. Chill out. Whoa, dude. Cool it. But yeah. We got till D&D &D tonight. And then I got D and D, so that'll be fun. Tomorrow we're gonna start a little earlier, cause uh, I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing the streamer game. There's a streamer game coming out tomorrow that all the streamers are gonna play, but I'm gonna start a little earlier so I can get done before uh, D and D. So one with the train boy. It's, it's a stream. I've had access to it for the last month. <laughs> to be clear, I've had it on my like steam playable to completion for the last month just now i don't know why they gave the code so early i just had it oh yeah that game is uh that game there is streamer bait and that's okay but uh yeah that'll be tomorrow and then I take weekend off. Better be good. What does it matter? What what does it matter? It's a streamer game. Do people play those games? Like unironically like to play them? Cuz I look at it and that's a streamer game. I would never play that myself in a thousand years. It's a streamer game. Choo Choo Charles is a streamer game. It's made for one person to play, have an okay time at, and for many other people to watch that person react to it. Aren't you a streamer? Yeah, which is why I'm going to play it, because it's made for me. I love Goat Simulator. Yeah, don't we all, man? Don't we all? Didn't they come out with a new one? Imagine buying games. What's the point when you can instead play Path? <laughs> What's the point when, like, after D&D &D tomorrow, I'm gonna be like, look, dude. Alright? It's Path. It's always been Path. Yeah. Yeah. Path is in Pathfinder, whatever you want to fucking tell yourself, bozo. I 
I'm, I, I literally can't talk about tabletop games other than D&D or people will start getting upset pointlessly and, and, and frantically. It's like people that play stuff like Pathfinder. I swear the reaction to whenever I bring up Pathfinder is like they don't want anyone to even di like speak of the Pathfinder. It's kind of intimidating sometimes. What did you say? How dare you? What? Here we go again. Here we go again. This guy hates dorks. People are just very passionate, but sometimes I think their passion is misread by people that don't share that passion as instead kind of frothing, insane rambling. I'm not sure there's any way to change that. It's kind of rabid, yeah, it's rabid lunacy. Are you gonna stream path? Oh yeah, dude. I'll, let me tell you what, chat. Let me tell you what, you come by the stream on Saturday, that's path day, baby. Everyone knows, everyone knows, pa Saturday, path day. We play path all day Saturday. All day Saturday, we're streaming Path of Exile, the new league. And then Sunday, we're gonna do it again. And then Monday, we're gonna do it again. Hell yeah, man. Fucking love streaming Path of Exile. <laughs> Retirement arc. Dude, there's not a single fucking way. <laughs> Any start build ideas? I'm not talking about builds for Path in the intro to my stream, you sick, sick boy. Why would I, why would I even <laughs> streaming to have a conversation with the one other person who knows what that even means? <laughs> Any plans to watch the Game Awards? No. I'm gonna be in D&D during it, one. And two, I do not care about the Game Awards whatsoever. More like the Cringe Awards. <laughs> Good one, voice box, bro! Bro! You will only watch the Game Awards, really, uh, for the trailers, I think, at this point. And sometimes so they can validate uh, their opinions. As if it matters. I'm ready to feel validated by the elite. Wouldn't you rather feel validated by your favorite streamers? Alright. For five dollars a month, I... Okay will validate you and your stupid fucking opinions. Okay? For a mere five dollars. Whatever you say you like. Barring things that are violently problematic. I will also say I like. Even if it's to the contrary of things I've said in the past. And that I can assure you. And for $25 a month, I'll go on record and go on a 10 minute conversation about how I've changed my perspective and also dumpster on my old, now obsolete opinions. 
I'll also just dunk on them and be like, and this is the new thing I like, and here is why. That's a promise. So how much to hate Gilk? You got five dollars? You got five? Come on, man, pay up. All it takes is a little bit of money and to get me moving, okay? I feel validation when my streamer is wrong, though. There is a genuine argument to always being wrong as a streamer because it drives up engagement. People, uh, people, people really like when their streamer is wrong all the time, and then they get to yell about it. In the chat. People love it. Wrong! Why won't he listen? Why won't he listen to what I say? Tomato, please, you're breaking the illusion for me. For $5 a month, I will reinforce the fact that the illusion was always real. And it was not an illusion. It's, it's what I really am. 2,000 bits from Alexander. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. $25 a month. Thank you. Thank you. Well, streamers, here's five bucks. I hate Gilk. Chat! From this moment forward, Gilk can honestly go to hell, and the only reason I'm going to farm it is specifically so no one can drink it! I will keep it from everyone, that I can assure you! But let it be known that if someone gives me another five dollars, all bets are off. We always renew back to the newest opinion. Put that gilk back on the menu. 500 bits from Oh My God, It's a Monkey. Alrighty. Gilk's pretty good. Right on. Manufactured scarcity. People will love the gilk once they think that there's no gorillas left. Dude, when am I gonna get my- Chat, the problem is I don't even know how to catch a gorilla. Like, I have to actually look up how to tame an animal. First, I need an animal trainer, which I think we only have some. Hmm. I'd have to get him in a cage first. <laughs> Which I need to make. I'd have to make a cage. Or I should have to craft one of those. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, first we'd have to find one. Maybe I should search gorillas in, uh... Indoor Fortress Wiki. Tropical wetlands. Are we in tropical wetlands? Is that our place? I believe we are not. We're in the jungle of questing. You'd think gorillas would be in the jungle, but they're not. Oh, no. I'm looking this up, and it's like, gorillas are very rare in the wild, so your best bet is to, like, trade with an elven caravan. Am I going to have to raid elven lands to kill all of them and steal their gilk from them? Because I don't think the elves like me. They've never come by. They've never visited. They've never said hey. 
It's a trade, tomato, not raid. Yeah, I know, but I've already cut down trees. I'm pretty sure that means I I'm right out for the elves. They won't like me. I would kill literally millions in my quest for Gilk. That I can assure you, in Dwarf Fortress. Of course. Can't spell trade without raid. Well, you kinda tried there. <laughs> you kinda, you kinda tried. You almost got there. All right, well, look, Chad, I want to get in somewhat quickly because we've got a lot of work to do, okay? We got, there's a lot of, there's a lot of work to do, and we got a lot of people. We got people desperate to join our society, it seems, today. It's going to be a busy day. It's going to be a really busy day. People from far and wide coming into the, the, the fort looking for gilk and realizing that we don't have any. Did he ever get that kid into the pit? No. But I've got a lot more time. It's not like that kid's going anywhere unless I get mauled by like a creature. That kid's pretty much safe le unless someone mauls them. It could happen. Look, they become my best worker. <laughs> They don't have enough context to what the real world is like around them. Okay. They don't have enough context to what the real world is like around them, so they just do chores forever. So it's really good for me. They just run up and down the stairs, dropping off blocks. Kids eat all your food and drink your alcohol. Yeah, but I got a lot of food and alcohol. I don't think we're gonna run into many more issues of a lack of food and alcohol unless we like bring in like fucking 40 new dwarves. That could be proud. All right, we're just gonna leave that off for a second. I need to open a window anyways, because I need to look up how to get sand. I fucking really cannot stand that Dwarf Fortress doesn't have like borderless windowed mode. I mean, I guess I can um, imagine it. The game still runs on one core. To this day. Okay, so in order to get sand, I have to designate it as a sand collection zone. Okay. I still need sand. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good. All right, we've got, we've got it, we've got that figured out now. Let's get in there. Akamo and Nala. Last time we were in the game, we were promised a migrant uh, caravan, and they never arrived. I theorized that perhaps they were killed by some kind of creature. Just beyond the border of our realm. I theorize that perhaps they were devoured by creatures. But take a look at this. They're not here right now. But we are getting guests now. This guy came in. Luki... Iladmate, the human pikeman. We have guests showing up now. He's a legendary mechanic. He's incredibly powerful. He's one of the most powerful warriors we've ever laid our eyes on, which is to say he's competent in something. He's really strong, man. He's a good guy. 
He's a good guy, man. He's a good guy. Really epic, that guy. I swear. But yeah. As a result, I think it's time that we look into some of the more important things. First of all, I'm gonna probably make most of this place into an actual, like, production floor. And move, like, all these beds and barracks and shit around. Onto, like, a lower floor and make that, like, the living zone. Because we want a tavern, we want a church, we want an actual place for people to sleep. We want offices up here in this zone. Transport all this stuff into, like, offices and stuff and then working space. And then... Uh, also make space for a prison. I already know that we need to secure... Now we're getting, chat, we're getting guests. People are coming in. People are coming in, man. They're just coming in. We don't have any way to keep anyone out or check their backgrounds. What if this guy's a psycho? We don't know him. I mean, I technically I can actually check what his whole background is. Hang on. Uh, thoughts, memories. He has none. Suspicious. Kind of weird. Great trouble mastering fear when confronted by danger. Does not enjoy participating in physical confrontations. Always conflicted by this for more than, for more than one reason. Yeah, he's a fucking pikeman. He tends to assume the worst of two outcomes will be the one that comes to pass. He occasionally overindulges. He sometimes acts with little determination and confidence. He often acts with compassion. Yeah, yeah. Extremely long hair, incredibly skinny, ochre eyes are close set, his head's tall, his nose bridge is somewhat concave, his somewhat splayed out ears are somewhat short, his eyelashes are short, his hair is brown with a touch of gray, his skin is pale taupe. Taupe. He may be a psycho serial killer. He's a member of the Coalition of Peaches. He might be a psycho. We do not trust him. Okay? He is not like us. Which is why I think it's important now more so than ever to get involved in the law. You know what I mean? It's time to get involved in everyone's favorite thing, the law. Which is why it's time we assign a sheriff. <laughs> no one with relevant skills, huh? Not one of you? Not one guy out here? Okay, maybe we'll wait a little bit longer before we assign a sheriff. I really thought someone would, uh... Be able to do that. Is the guinea cock still alive? Hell yeah. Stray idiot's still fine. They've been eating good on all this sandstone. Fool. Of course they're good. Why wouldn't they be? I'm gonna set some of the new plants to grow. We gotta make sure all these plants are growing in. We make plump helmets this season, that's what I always say. But yeah, I'm thinking it's time. We have basic living quarters. Everyone, most people have beds. A couple people don't, but not everyone sleeps at the same time. Uh, I think it's time we start digging out a real, like, true setup on the lower floor here for our folks to live in. I think I want to carve that out. All right. So I'm thinking like a uh, same kind of branching system we've done before. I'm gonna move the meeting hall down here as well. But uh, again, big just a, a really big kind of circle. We kind of want to do a big, big circle. Got to make sure it doesn't look like a cock, though. It's so important that it doesn't look like a big old cock. Have this thing branch out here. This is going to go to a dining hall. These halls are going to branch out this way. Yeah, we're going to have it branch out like this in this kind of weird shape. I just want to mix it up a little bit. going to mix it up a little bit out here this make the wings kind of something different rooster no it's not gonna look like a rooster either shut up 
All right, we're just mixing. We're just doing some different design decisions. Eight by eight. Am I stupid? Am I? Do I not know how math work? This needs to go up one more. I literally don't know how to do simple things. There. Still need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I fucked up. Okay. Dig that out. We're gonna have this we're gonna have these halls split, okay? One side looks like ovaries. Now once I do the bottom too. Again. Ban that person. Like ban that person. <laughs> ban them. Ban them. Ban them. Once I do both parts, it's not going to look like that. Although I do think I want to do... I want to give this a little bit more of a... Like, diagonal thing here in general. I want these halls to break out into... Like a four thing. Man, it's just like a lot of extra complicated. It's going to be fine. We're not going to get really complex with it. But basically, I want space here and here for like off it, like specific bedrooms for our like actually high quality dwarves. Right? I want these spots for like our high quality dwarves to have like good rooms. You know, like the ones that the ones that fucking mean something. I want them to get like the nice three by threes. You know what I mean? The nice four by fours. The good shit. Four by threes. Perhaps even. Escalating quality. Glory to our Statska. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You're ruining everything! Stop! Now! Please! Okay. Look, the thing is, over here is going to be like an actual real meeting hall. This is going to be... Like, <laughs> this is going to be jail, okay? I'll tell you what, middle's going to be prison. Okay, that's getting, that's getting, that's going to look like prison to me. I think that's going to be prison. Over here is going to be like a tavern kind of thing. Over here is going to be dining hall. Actually, we'll probably do dining hall here. Tavern's over here. Prison directly in the middle. Kind of sandwich. Kind of sandwich between the places where people are gonna do crimes. Okay, I want prison there. And then somewhere off this meeting hall area, we'll have um like uh, church, church stuff. People love churches. We're not gonna make this like super identical though, because I actually want to immediately blow this area out a little bit more. I want this place big. We are very powerful dwarves. I want this place large. Okay, now we're gonna... Do this. Okay. Alright. Okay. And there. Kinda is a little glory to our Stotska, isn't it? But at least it's not a penis. <laughs> at least it's not a fucking cock. Looking good, looking good. Now I see it. No, you fucking don't! Giant bird taking a huge shit. Shut up! Shut up! Hang on. Oh, we need one of these spots to be a living quarters as well. Oh, I guess I could just do that here. Is this lopsided? No. 
Okay, so these this is gonna go to. Well, first I need to zone. I gotta zone out the uh, like the larger, higher quality rooms for other dwarves before I do anything else. Cause <clears throat> we gotta make sure those don't con like like conflict with anything. Okay. How many noble things are there? I think more become available as time goes on. Or at least some. But at least for now, we need like 12 good rooms. I would say. Because I want good rooms for management. I think management boys deserve a little better. You know what I mean? Management boys deserve a little better. I think we can all agree. They've done the time. We'll make... We'll make 10 flat for now. And add more later if I need to. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Really digging the design. I'm just kind of spitballing. I'm not really, I don't think I deserve any compliments, but thanks, I guess. Are you gonna follow it up by saying it looks like ovaries? Or like piss, like a like a big old penis or something? Like a pot, like just like awful garbage? Turn up. All right. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. Well, look, uh, we need a, I want dorms. I definitely want like big dorms. And I'd like to have this shit to connect somehow. So we're going to do this. We'll do twos there. Yeah, we'll do twos. All right, so dorms for dwarves, like larger dormitories that I'd say are like, I'm gonna make them like, I, I think four bedrooms, like four beds per dorm. We're gonna compress the hell out of these, but they're all gonna be here along like this hall, I think. This is a big ass meeting hall. It's time to do the zoning for this. I, re I really wanna pack them in, chat. They're really gonna be packed in here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking a three by five fit like four beds, four dressers, two chests in each one. The symmetry. Oh, that's the easiest thing to fix ever, chat. You get I would have noticed it even if you didn't say anything. Bro, no, bro, please, God, bro. <laughs> bro, please, dude. What would I do without you? How do I make the... I don't want these dwarves to be too happy. No, that's important to me. We really don't want them to be too happy. So... I think what we want to do is kind of make it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Can I, I bet I could make it even more dense. You know? I bet I could. I bet I could make it more dense. Oh, we can give them little micro holes over here, dude. We got space for a whole bed right <laughs> We got space for a whole thing right there. <clears throat> mm hmm. Nah. Hold up. So first one would go here. At least it's really easy to like template out stuff in this. Okay. So that'll fit, uh, let's see here, 40 dwarves plus another, uh, so that'll fit 50 dwarves right there. Not bad, not bad. 
I may actually, what I might do is, um... Yeah, well, I actually think I might do this. No, we don't need to. We got lots of space. This is, this is like, super modular. This is easily, I can add, like, a hall right here and do another row. Or, like, move this just down more and do it, like, properly. With, like, double-sided. Like, this whole half is all just living quarters. That's, like, the whole point of all this, so... That'll work. Uh, top, I don't know how much space you need for a prison, but I do know I'd need one. I do know I'm going to need one. Okay. Prison. Here's what I'm thinking. Hang on. Hold up here. Okay. Prison. Put a bunch of prison stuff there. Sheriff office, because I know they're going to need one. Put, like right there. Uh, over here we'll put like cells. I know that's a thing. I know, we can always change it if we need to, but I'm really going to make this place fucking unlivable. I want this to be like, <laughs> yeah, yep. Uh, we'll have, we'll give him one. Mm, hang on. I actually can't do it like that because of how odds work. Hold up. Cancel. Cells. <laughs> All cells, baby. You know, in my old base, dwarves lived like this. Door, bedroom, like bed. No, I think it may have even been two. It might have even been two back then. Look, we're, if and if we need more, good news is, a lot of space to expand the cells in any direction we want. No problem. Uh, okay, then... If I'm going to do a kind of dining area thing, we do it over here. I got more space for this than I thought. Okay. We'll bring it out to match the hall. Oh, hell yeah, man. Oh, hell yeah, man. Oh, perfect, man. Perfect. That even actually gives us more space to do some bullshit here. Bird face. Shut up. That's a weird ass bird. What are you talking about, man? What do you mean? Look, it's giving our, like, mining dwarves something to do. Because God knows they don't have much to do. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. We are going to want... I'm not going to make this all perfectly symmetrical for much longer, but... Uh, I think we can make all of this here. Actually, like, kind of... Shave off some of this crap. I want to make... Like a pretty hefty dining hall that can just be extended very deeply into the distance if it needs to. On one side, we'll put the, uh, we could technically do a tavern like as an attachment here as well. Because we don't need all this for prison, I don't think. I don't think that's going to be necessary. So really, uh, let me do the dimension. Let me check the dimensions here. I actually want to do this anyways. Hang on. Hold up. It's actually kind of pissing me off. I don't like how this looks. I think I might actually, like, shave off a little bit more of that. Same with... No. No, it has to be like that, doesn't it? It's always hard when you get to like the larger buildings. 
with the larger rooms, but I am gonna make it basically a prison fucking cafeteria. Okay, that's always been the plan. That's not changing. That's not changing. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a prison cafeteria. But I guess for now I'll make it the same thing on the other side, because I do, I do appreciate large buildings. Then we'll go from there. Okay. These are technically symmetrical. Even though it doesn't look it. We'd look it if I added another room here on this side. Which I mean... We'll find something to do. Cool. 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 Okay, I mean, that's good enough for now. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do here. We might like build walls or like fix it, but it's at least like a fucking, it's something very modular that I could add on to if I want. Well, probably, I might put the, I might put like the, hang on, actually to, probably the best way to do this would be to check zones. Uh, oh, we know the dungeon situation is gonna be. Oh, we probably want a barracks. Yeah. Well, I don't need that yet, and that's something I can just add. Oh, we probably want a library, too. Hospitals already taken care of. Taverns, temples. I don't know how big of a temple we need in here, but I could probably just put something here. Yeah, we can just put like a fucking little temple. Yeah, guys, pray to God right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Enjoy. And everyone that has actual stuff they need to do with their lives can just go fucking around it. Like that. That'll be a temple. That'll be nice. Everyone else can go around. Good. Pray to small gods. Don't use up too much space. Where are dwarves? Currently not in the giant mega structure I'm telling them to build soon. They have no idea how how stupid this like all this is about to get is what's happening. And once they've all moved down here, I'm gonna turn this place into a big old pile of commerce. Well, let's begin, boys. Oh yeah, I forgot I left these guys overactive on their uh in their position. Okay, guys, uh, go about your lives. I told them, I taught them how to put on clothes. All right, dig! They're not doing it. Oh! Tefin Ariki, the human hammer man, is visiting. We don't know who this guy is! We don't know who, who, who she is. They've broken in to our land. Kinda, kinda weird. Kinda weird. Huh, what's this? The human Bodeman Kadi Synergicast sing is fighting the Monitor Lizard. D what the fuck? Yo, chill! It's a little guy! It's just a little guy! It's just a little guy. It doesn't, he's terrified. He's just a little guy, leave him alone, dude. Maybe they're okay, they can't stand. His right front leg is cut open, his left front leg is cut open. 
Oh, yeah, no, there's Cody, the person. Uh, I'm just gonna stop the order for that fucking display case. It's never happening. I just don't care about it. Jesus! They just keep shooting at him! Chill. Yeah, no, they they lodged that arrow firmly in the wound. Yeah. Yeah, this is getting ugly. The battle rages. I feel no terror, says Cody. No one fucking asked, Cody. You're using silver arrows to defeat a fucking lizard. Like, not like a big lizard. They're dead. They left the silver on the ground. Well, I hope you have a fucking good time in town, Cody. You're lucky we don't have a prison. There's Uvash having a good time. Yeah, welcome. Competent Bowman attending a meeting. Oh, there's a petition. Cody wants to move in to eradicate monsters. <laughs> well, Cody, I see that one lizard wasn't enough. You want to kill the rest of them? Uh, they want to move in. Chat, we let humans in, right? They're humans. We're hum like I'm a human in real life. We let we 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 didn't get any migrants. I think we need to let people in. <laughs> we literally don't have migrants. But hang on, hang on. Hang on, background check. Chat, because here's the thing. I know enough about Dwarf Fortress to know this person could be a fucking vampire. Or literally a were-giraffe. I'm not bluffing. They could literally be a were-giraffe. We haven't actually... We have not been able to confirm or deny who they are. They could be a were-gorilla. Hmm. Okay. Health? Any history of damage? Cody? A medium-sized creature. He's tough. He's quite clumsy. His hair is extremely long. His ears are flattened. His head is narrow. Hmm, man. Hmm. Any, uh... Man, you got a big-ass family. Do you have any, um... Oh, he's a passing acquaintance of Uvash, the dwarven child. Uvash, do you vouch for Cody? <laughs> you've had a you had one conversation with him as he walked by. Holy crap, that's vampire material. He's got a lot of family members. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't want to profile people, okay? I don't want to profile anyone. I don't want to look like that. But... Let's look at the literals. Pale. Eyes are gray. <laughs> Pale, gray eyes. Hmm. Vampires... Hang on, I need to see his family again. Relations. Eldest daughter. Okay. He's got children. I don't think vampires can reproduce. But what if he was made a vampire after he had children? I mean, I fucking get yourself killed out here, dude. Welcome. Welcome, Cody. So here's the thing. Uh, we really do need people to like kind of kick our military into shape. So I'm kind of eyeballing. Wait, who the fuck? Why does Besmar have like novice leader abilities? Who? Literally who? Oh yeah, you can't just give them jobs in this, huh? Why are they in my hospital? Okay, so he is- ugh, I forgot to lock my fucking mouse into the game. 
So yeah, his job is Monster Slayer. He's gonna slay monsters, which is good for us. We literally struggle to have a militia. So if Cody wants to run around and slay monsters, I say let him. <laughs> I say let him. Let him slay monsters. Do what you want out there. If you get killed for it, no one will look for you. I mistook the monitor lizard for a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Animal Trader cancels dump interrupted by a Kia. Can I ask where that fucking bird is now? Flying away. Did they attack you? Did they attack you, Mesbeth? If they fucking so much as touch one of my dwarves, I'm going to send a militia of men to hunt that fucking bird down and break their neck. Okay? That I can assure you. That I can assure you. Crossbows out. I need to make arrows, don't I? Or like bolts specifically. We have copper. I should start making bolts. Let's just make 10. Because we have, I made a crossbow. All right, let's see, is digging going well? I got another petition. Uh, Thefen Boot Pleats wishes to reside in Glad Theaters for the purpose of eradicating monsters. I gotta re- Can I rename my- my home? Yeah, dude, move in. Can I rename Glad Theaters? Cause I'd love to rename it to like... Gilk Guzzlers or like something a little bit more our- Our brand. And of Gilk. Oh. Oh, it's just the, all the notifications for the digging. God damn, look at how fast Eneth is. He's our best miner. Dude, he's gonna finish this place in fucking no time. The other two? Eh. Shape up. Speed it up. He just can't fucking stop. He's really good at it. Okay, so... It would be good to get a le like a law, the law. Uh, what do messengers do? Should I get a messenger? Would a messenger be good for glad theaters? I don't know. I don't think so. I think focus right now is um stocks. We have so much stuff. I'm gonna make a little more armor. Put an order for a little bit more armor. Let me check what bars I have. We have a lot of gold, dude. All right, one thing people can't say is that we aren't fucking rich on gold. Got a lot of gold, we made a ton of coke, so we have no reason to, like, make any more for a while. I think I want to make some gold crafts. I'll put in that order. Ugh, fucking hell. I re you know it's one, one of my- I think the biggest complaint I have for this game, which is wild. It's that if I click this and want to type in a job, you'd think immediately, obviously, I'd want to use the search thing, but when you press any button on your keyboard once you open this, uh, it still just uses the keybinds for the game's interface, so it actually closes this and, like, fucks with you. And it's driving me crazy. It's like, automatically pick the search thing. Like, I just want to pick the search thing. Okay, uh... Make gold crafts. We're not gonna make it specific, but let's make some gold crafts. Can I also make some more bins? Let's get some more bins. We always need more bins. We literally do. And while that's happening, how much wood do we got? 
Uh, not as much as I'd like. Let's cut down some more trees. Without any worry for... Oh. Shaith Sothbalamot, human lasher, is visiting. Who? H who? Human lasher? Chase, I don't know where you... He doesn't have any... He's a competent lasher. Not really good at anything. Dude. I don't know how to tell you this, but like, we don't just have space for- Whoa, the doctrine of death! Bud, we're full, we don't have space for you. <laughs> you can't just come in. Alright, he came in. He just came in. Okay. Hey, gorilla check. No. Can I do something that just says like, oh, I don't care about these creatures, get them off my bar? That's like, yeah, I know they're dead. I, I know these guys are dead. I ordered their deaths. <laughs> Aside from Modder Lizard, God bless his soul. God bless his soul. Didn't do anything to him. God bless his soul every day. I get, get I get down on my knees. I pray to God. Nothing like that ever happens again on my watch. No, sir. What's this? Summer has arrived. Okay, well, hey, here's the situation. It's also important in the next couple weeks in this game that we secure the basement. We know... That trolls live down here. I think with the help of our new boys, it's time to secure this place. Because remember, the thing about this that's really nice is that our zone right in front of this spot is literally only one area high. So if we secure this spot, we can make an insane farming infrastructure here with some incredibly, incredibly powerful... Uh, stuff. Although I don't think under liking counts as soil. Why well, here counts as soil? For the sake of farming. Because I need specifically... Oh, I guess loam beneath it. Do I just have to peel up the under like it and then we're good? Because it seems like there's loam beneath this. Yeah, there's loam beneath all of this. Okay. So yeah, all I gotta do is just like get some guys out and really quickly construct walls. Uh, ideally not made out of... Hang on, I have to do this kind of carefully. First of all, we need to secure this spot. Right here. No access to four building material, non-economic items. It's because this is uh, currently illegal to traverse. Because I know we're not out of items. Keep building at the basement. There we go. Make it all out of Gabbro. We have a lot of Gabbro. 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 Okay. That will block off this whole section. Now I just need to block this Gabbro and that with Gabbro. Okay, that blocks off the lower area, which is a lot of it. Good. Good. Next, we need to block off this and that. Remember, we can't do diagonals. I'm remembering that now. I need to make sure that that's secured. No diagonals. I've been made a fool before. No diagonals. Okay. Uh, we're gonna cut off right here. Oops. Cut off right there. And right there. 
and right there. And then just the top. Easily securable, easily securable. The only thing, we have seen horrible creatures travel between these halls, however, before we must keep our wits about us. We never know when some kind of creature may run in and just grab one of the uh, dwarves and take them away to be devoured, most likely. Okay. I'll make sure we're good. You did a diagonal, by the way. Oh, yeah? Where, pray tell, is this diagonal? Because surely you can point it out. Left of the staircase, right into the mountain wall. Left of your staircase, right into the mountain wall. My guy, that's a straight wall. Connecting to a wall. All this is connecting to things. <laughs> Two single wall pieces. My guy. That's two wall pieces. There is no diagonal. Because there's two of them. Chat, I'm 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 very confused what uh what's happening here. Cause a lot, uh, not just one person was like, you missed something. So I'm like deeply, I'm like, I'm, I'm actively trying to figure it out. I'm not like upset, I'm just like trying to figure out what you're talking about. Cause there are no diagonals here. I'm just gonna assume you're being, uh, brainlets. Oh, I got another petition. People really want to come here to hunt monsters. Is it really that bad? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. We're starting to get that situation where a bunch of people are moving in, but we don't have uh, we don't have a jail yet, and people are gonna start doing rambunctious bullshit. I don't know if I trust them. I don't know if I trust all of them. Can I get some background checks on this? Pi the pikeman was the guy who's like a legendary mechanic. He's in. We're gonna let Lukey in. But I think I'm gonna deny the lasher. Nah, fuck it. Let them all in. We have monsters infesting our realm. We have literally monsters infesting our realm. We might as well. Oh. Dude, we got a lot of- a lot of humans coming in. We got a lot of humans. And they're so young. And they live so- their lives are so short. I mean, hey, I'll take it. Come on down, dude. Welcome to my village. Okay, dwarves are starting to do their thing. Hopefully this is quick. Another one. Thran Sleeve Lashes wants to come by and... Look! If one of them's a vampire, the others will hunt and kill him! People love Gilk! Come on in! Come in, come in. Seal up these walls before they come. Before the creatures come. Oh, damn it. Uh, break that. I gotta be just careful. I gotta watch. I am realizing now one of the biggest flaws is when you build the wall like this, what I should be doing is bending it this way. So that the dwarves don't get confused. 
and seal it in such a way that like uh they can't reach it themselves it's like really get rid of that and that cancel cancel get rid of that one and instead build it there seems like a thing there okay like a thing here instead of a thing here god damn it I did that a lot well at least I noticed because in reality we want to build it a little bit more in so that our guys don't get confused and fuck it all up cool done They're gonna fuck that one up too. I can already tell. Now we're done. Huh? Even more people. No migrants arrived, but we did get a swarm of like humans that are just, where are you going? Let's just, where are they? They're running downstairs to do something. Where is. Chase fucking going. Chase, we're sealing the whole basement, man. Ho, 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 Doomslayer. Ho, ho, ho. Chase, chill. Oh, there's like diamonds and stuff. Well, here's what we are going to do is we are going to add like doors. I guess I'll cancel this and I'll put a- we'll build a door here. Cause that is- I was intending to do that. Do we not have any? We don't own- Dude. I'd like to order doors. <laughs> Out of your finest rocks, just make them. We're so- I'm so sick of not having doors. Wait, no, don't just make them out of anything though, that's gonna piss me off. Uh, out of our finest, um... Fucking. I know we have a lot of sandstone sitting around. Who's this? More people want to join? We have enough. We have too. We're getting too many people, and they're gonna start drinking all of our alcohol, and then we're gonna die. That's enough people. That's enough. That's enough people that don't work on any other job other than killing monsters. We do not need more monster hunters now. Dude, fuck off. <laughs> what is this? We're full! I mean, I respect them doing this. It does make my life a lot easier. And it makes me feel better knowing that there's a bunch of guys to defend our, our realm. But at the same time, it's like... Bro, chill. <laughs> it's fucking acting like psychos. Every time I bring someone in, there's a chance they're a psycho. This guy's just like navigating into like a tunnel system. Some people are gonna get locked outside the base and go missing. Cause I'm not worrying about them. If they're out there when this shit happens, they're out there when this shit happens. What's this? Oh God, Bowman Cotty found the Krungles. Lucky gun. Bowman Cotty has found the crundles. I repeat. They... They killed the crundle. It's a crundled, mangled corpse. It's spattered with crundle blood. It's spattered with crundle blood. It's spattered with crundle blood. It's spattered with crundle... <laughs> it's spattered with crundle blood. It's spattered with crundle blood. <laughs> It's spattered with crundle blood. Mangled, spattered with crundle blood. Okay. Uh 
Ha, <laughs> okay. Anyways. How goes work? Uh, we plant uh, sweet pods now. I really do need to set up a better farming system that just like actively has like everything being planted individually instead of what I am currently doing, which is a fucking mess, but whatever. I'll be organized after this is done. Which is gonna take a while, because right now I think they're prioritizing securing the downstairs, which is fine. Cody Standard Style has claimed the position of Lord of the Society of Woods. Literally, who are you and what's that job? Okay, nerd. Who asked? Cody the Lord. He's labeled himself as a Lord. Well, do I do I care? They're one of the visitors. Technically, I gave them permission to live here. Do I have to give this place a f Do I have to give this guy a fucking room now? Did he just fucking declare himself lord of something and now I have to fucking give him like actual attention? I could exile him. He kills one Crundle and he calls himself Lord. Don't have to do this shit if it's not on the noble tab. That's what I was assuming. He's not my noble. He's someone's noble. He's not mine. I don't fucking give two shits about what Connie says he is or isn't. I don't know you. I don't know you. We've discovered a volcanic wall covered with gems. Cool. Can we finish that wall system? Guys? Who the fuck just went down there? The fuck are you doing? Dude. Okay. Cancel that. Uh, cancel this. Just build the wall here. That pissed me off watching that guy just go down there because he's too dumb to realize what's going on. Build it there. Do it. Finish it. We got a bunch of dwarves down here right now. Is it? And there's a literal crundle right there! Oh, they're running away. They're running away because we have a bunch of like actual monster hunters uh, executing their people. Dude, where's our manager? This is happening again, where our manager doesn't do shit. Look, I swear to God. Do your job. Dude, Crundles better fuck off. You just pissed off Chase. You know what that means. Crundles about to catch these fucking hands from Chase. Chase is a fucking psycho. I wouldn't fuck with Chase in my life, man. He's insane. Here he comes. Coming here to kill your entire people. Literally running you down. Huh? Evrush, Sana Davus, fishery worker, is taken by a fey mood. Where? Who? Where? This will follow up on that once I see which station he actually goes to. Where is he? 
Where's the Roosh going? Let's see, his skills, he's always been just a fisher guy. He's not really, he's dabbling, at, he dabbles at milk. <laughs> he's going towards the stone system. He's making something. Okay, so it seems like the Crundles are fighting. I mean, it's a bloodbath. But that's fine. Arush is gonna do his thing. Give him some privacy. Have we secured this fucking place? People are still taking their fucking diagonals. That guy's actually gonna get sealed. Out of the fucking zone. He has no idea. And... Idiot, find your own way back home. Because you ain't going that way, man. Embarrassing. Oh, we can build diagonals. What the fuck? What's Erush doing? Anyways. And if he's doing that, we can't build any doors. I see that making these bolts uh, makes a lot more bolts than I realized. Ooh, look at all these gold figurines we've been making. Very good. What's the value of our place? Rich? Oh, we're rich. Maybe he's making a legendary door. Yeah, maybe he's making a really good door. I mean, it's cool. We need better... All the fishermen need to replace their jobs. Like, I really just don't have any space for them. In my world. We get a lot of humans coming in. It's like everyone was like, Dude! You can get 5 XP for kill killing these fucking stupid crundles and monitor lizards. You can get to level 20 like it's fucking nothing, dude. Don't have to kill any dragons. Nothing. Just go down to the basement of this dwarven settlement and kill crundles. They don't do anything. It's happening. I must have metal bars. I must have rock. I must have bones. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. Bones is easy. We've been making crafts and shit out of all of our bars. Okay, I might have to go look for some. I might have to actually go shop around for bars. First. Can I just put in like a- I wish there was a way- I'm li- I'm literally going to do this. I'm going to put in a mass order, and it's gonna take a while, for every single ore in the game. I- I will suspend it when I care. But, like, no, that's stupid. Put an order in for the stuff that I actually care about. It's going to take forever. Uh, native copper. Forever. Don't ever stop doing it. Uh, we don't have any silver. And some, we've run into magnetite. I wonder if that counts as metal. What's that? More crundles are fighting. I'm gonna have to execute some creature in the base. Uh, let's see. Donkey. There's dead monitor lizard outside. I don't want dead monitor lizard, I want donkey. Mule's dead. He's gonna go get the bones. Limonite, hematite. We have copper nuggets. We just have to, like, make them. Oh, I'm getting a petition. Quistra, plated, muted, w wishes to reside in glad theaters. Uh, denied. Denied. Denied and don't bother me again. No 
Okay. What else do you still need? He's working. He has everything he needs, baby. He's making it out of gold. Another petition. Bill Honest Breeds wishes to reside. Guys, can I get dwarves to move in? I mean, I'm not, it's not that I don't like humans, okay? To be clear, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's never about, it's not about that. It's just like, I can't, I can't make these guys do anything but hunt monsters and all they're killing is Crundles. Like, Crundles haven't done anything, dude. Hey, at least this is going well. They're they are digging along. Uh everything that isn't sandstone or maybe this microcline. Yeah, it's all sandstone microcline, so I'm probably gonna No, we're gonna get rid of all this uh, all the microcline. Uh, I like my stuff all somewhat consistent, so all of this we're going to trash. Get rid of all. How's that, uh, how's that, how's that artifact coming along, man? You getting good at stoneworking? Can I finally fire you from fishery? You know, I'm going to preemptively fire you from being a fisherman. Uh, where you at? Strange mood. Okay, let me just pop in there, labor. You're, um, Arush, right? Very cool. Oh, cool. I didn't even realize I could do this. Holy shit, this whole time I could have had someone that is literally just a garbage dumper. That's funny. Okay. Spoiler for why there are humans. Oh, well, I didn't ask them. I don't want to know. I'm not going to finish that message. Erush Sana Davuz, fishery worker, has created Tustzalan, a magnetite toy axe. A toy one? You tell me you invested your most powerful, like, inspiration ever. The greatest thing you'll ever make in your life. And it's a toy. It's a toy. Maybe it's high quality. It's... <laughs> $3,500 is a magnetite toy axe. All craft worship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of round magnetite capochons. This object menaces with spikes of sandstone. On the item is an image of a roll death in sandstone. On the item is an image of a gizzard of stones in mule bone. On the item is an image of Arab murder crafted the dwarf and dwarves in gold. Arab murder crafted is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf Arab murder crafted to the position of queen of the rainy lantern in seven. Dude, it's a toy for kids. Calm down. It's literally a toy for kids. Did you at least get good at it? Erish, did you get good at... Oh, yeah. He's an expert. He's a legendary stone cutter now. You know what that means. That's your fucking thing. I'm gonna label it so I always know. Can we get those fucking doors made, Erish? You better be hauling stuff for doors, man. I'm actually gonna set him as the only worker for this. He's a... Wait a minute. He's a stone cutter, but he's only a dabbling stone carver. What is the... Di What's the difference?
Stone cutters, smooth walls. Wait, stone carvers, smooth walls. Carving is more detailed. So is my guy bad at making doors or good at making doors? Because I only care if he's good at making doors. His o The only thing I care about is if he's good at making doors. Is he? He's bad at doors. Fuck him then. Made a goddamn toy. Sell it. Ushrir Elats Kasud, Baron Consort of Drilled Clasps is visiting. Who? Baron Consort? Dude, take it easy. You have literally no skills. Oh god, we're getting like real people moving in. Oh fuck. Well, hey. With any luck, we'll finish those doors soon. There they go. We can secure the basement. Okay, yeah, doors are getting made. You just need them getting hauled. Another petition. Ushrir Buck Machines wishes to reside and kill- Dude, we don't have any more creatures! There's not that many crundles. There's really not. Badger attacking Ushrir. Oh, it's the bad. No fucking way. Oh, Badger lost. Where's Ushrir? There's also a leopard fighting. Ushrir is just like outside killing leopards and badgers. They missed the house because they crossed the entire map. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean... Huh. Right on. So my problem is that I'm down like a lot of uh I'm down a lot of seeds because I never actually had a trade cycle uh last year. Oh, more copper. Where's that at? Oh cool. Alright, just grab it. Right on. We missed the trade cycle last time. Al Spearman. You sure you're gonna fit in? Around here? You sure you're gonna fit in around these parts? Not so sure about that one. Freaking using a spear made out of peach wood. Literally walking around like an absolute buffoon out here. Not so sure about that, man. If they petition to join, I'm not doing that. Well, at the very least, God damn, there's so many people visiting. Ile wants to join in the purpose for the purpose of eradicating monsters. Denied. Denied and be on your way, and have a good night. 
faster we finish this prison, the better, boys. Get moving. Need this jail done. It's because you're popular in game. Oh, you think? Think people really like me? Won't be long until goblins come to kill our people. Yep, won't be long now. God damn, even more stuff all the time. I'm gonna need to get, dude. We really, really gotta get that there. Uh, gotta get that there beer going. Maybe it's time to invest in bees. Can we move bees underground? Look, have we secured this yet? This is actually like the issue. Is this done? Not there. The next one. Secured, 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 secured. We just have to seal this section. The door. Everything else is done. Cool. It's still gonna take a while to like cut this all out because obviously we have guys digging other stuff right now. So it's gonna be a little bit before this is like done. But I'd like to flatten all this out. What the fuck is all this? Warm! Wait! Hold up! Magma Forge. How do I navigate this? If it's warm here, that means it's actually hot on the other side, right? That means magma's on the other side of this. Which means we want to build right here. We want to dig right here and be above it, right? That's how magma forges work. Make metal bars from ore here can also refine coal into usable fuel or make alloys. Magma below the smelter will power test. You are responsible for placing the smelter above magma. Look, if it works, then we've got a fucking good thing here and I don't have to care about charcoal anymore. We can throw all that other charcoal out forever. Uh, save a lot of space. Um, seems like a pretty good fucking thing. Surely no mishaps will come of this? Of course surely no mishaps will come of this. Dadoy, dadoy. Dadoy, dadoy. All we, listen. All we gotta do <laughs> is make sure that what's his name, our best miner, isn't the guy who does this. Okay. We're gonna do it like this. Alright? We're going to go above. We're gonna. Can I dig? If I do a ramp up. Can I do a stairwell up from here? Is that possible? Or do I need to ramp it? Because I'd like to just go one up. Do it and then figure out infrastructure after. I'd like to just get there as quickly as possible. I'm not seeing anything here, so I need to. Th I think I need to actually like make. Where's that guy fucking going? Poof! Oh, there he goes. What do you think you're doing? Oh, he's hauling crundle corpses to the fucking drop point. <laughs> hey man, whatever floats your boat. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go with the original plan. 
where I dig from here. Instead. Because at least then I'll also have space for other stuff. How much space do I have? Oh, we got lots of space. Oh, there's an even larger one here. Hmm. But there's also magma here. So it seems like where I'd want to dig is actually up one more here. Is there a magma pool like here? Is that what? The oh, Jesus. This whole damn thing's one giant old magma pool. It seems like it's still going up. So what we actually want to do, I think, is cancel all this, dig out from this level, way higher, and then go down until our dwarves are like, hey, um, it's hot. Hey, it's hot. <laughs> What's up? Uh, it's hot down here. Yeah, let's plan on that. I mean, I'm not in a huge rush, and I'd like to finish the living quarters situation before we do that anyways, but, you know, good to know it's an option. God, I'm really glad the mug situation has been officially taken care of. The alcohol situation, not so much. But we'll get there. Doors are coming along. We're getting a lot of doors. We're gonna need more doors in this. For everything. We're also going to need... Uh, let's see. Cabinets. Wooden cabinets. Probably like... Fucking 20 of them total. You fucking beds. Minimum another 20. Gonna need. That takes care of the first set of stuff, actually. Yeah. Another petition. Gilly Trotted Wise wants to come here and eradicate monsters. Guys, we're officially full on monster hunters. We really don't have the space. We really don't. Please finish the prison. Please, God. Club's full. No more space. Bro. No migrants? How do I take matter- Chat, can I take matters into my own hands by literally kidnapping these human warriors and arresting them and like RimWorld style conditioning them into believing that they want to live here as a worker. I think, I think I know what I need to do. Because I vaguely read about it. But it involves setting up more nobles. I guess. I guess, Besmar. I need you to be a messenger. Is there a way I can tell her now... To go tell the dwarves that everything's cool. This place is badass. Please come hang out. Okay, I think I might need to go into like the map. Where do I live? I don't even remember where I live. Nice center. Dude, I, this is literally the worst fucking map UI ever, even after they fixed it. I, I truly cannot find me in this. 
on the little gray one. No, that's not me. Dude, please fucking God. Where's the jungles of questing? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. This one is not me. Holy shit. Why would they not enable zooming on this fucking UI? Like, I don't understand. Chat. Oh, you think the scroll wheel fucking works? Oh, did you think? The yellow box. Yeah, man, let me get right on that, man. Let me just squint. Let me just squint. Let me just squint right there. Fucking absolutely cannot believe this. Don't worry, chat. We're gonna fucking find it. No problem. Don't you guys worry about a goddamn thing. Should someone like be like warm or cold? <laughs> Can someone just be like getting warm? Because I'm looking at all these, these are all just green. They are not the yellow one. Legally, this is all jungle of questing. Dude, this is a fucking unbolt. Is Oh my god, go to hell, man. Okay, fucking cry. Very good. Thanks, game. We found us. Chat, look, there we are. Our yellow circle, our yellow block is nestled right next to all this green block and yellow kind of beige yellow background. There we are. Can't zoom in. Would never know. But there we are. So I'm seeing a lot of human hamlets, but there's literally a dwarven hillock right there. I don't want to raid these guys. I want, oh my God. I don't want to raid these guys. I just want to talk to them. How do I like, how do I send my messenger to talk to them? How do I do that? Because this is legally... Zoom equals control plus scroll or ban that person. I'm getting tired of people saying it. You think I haven't fucking tried it, dude? Shut up. I'll unban you when you DM me and apologize for spamming dumb mess. You think I- Dude, I played 20 hours! I know how to zoom! <laughs> can't. I can't. I'm not in need of AI, like UI control advice. I'm really not. All right. I guess I'm going to say I want to raid these guys. None of this is helpful to me getting new migrants. I'm not seeing much that really gets me what I need here. Okay. 
Because I don't want to raid them, that's not the point. Just want them to send- I just want, like, people to- I basically want to send a postcard that's like, Missing you. Miss you. But... I don't think I can do that. Maybe there's another way I do it. Because I don't think I can do it here, maybe in the labor section? The work order? Problem is a lot of people just say suggestions about Dwarf Fortress, but uh, they haven't played it or they don't actually know what they're talking about. Um... Sometimes it's hard to even tell. So, news and rumors. There's no block to just di open diplomacy. Guess I'll go down the line of all these. Center on Fort Missions, News and Rumors, Civilizations. I can't click on that. Artifacts, no. Doesn't seem like there's much I can have done here. Seems like a wash. I guess we're dead. I guess it's over. Like, if, if we're never going to get dwarves again, that's rough. I don't know what to do about that. It seems like no one wants to move in despite the fact there are dwarves nearby. Hmm. That's concerning. Just reproduce. The only child we have in our entire colony, we've been playing this this uh, place now for two streams. They're two years old. They're two. Might be a wiki situation. The wiki doesn't translate one-to-one -to, -one to this anymore, exactly. It does for a lot of stuff, but... Unfortunately, this game doesn't have a borderless full screen, so it's really difficult to switch to the wiki to look for answers. Because if I want to switch to the wiki, I have to fucking close the whole thing, lag out my whole computer, because it's fucking full screen. And yeah, I know there's a windowed mode, but that's windowed, not borderless. I guess I need to fucking hope that this next caravan that comes by lets me cash out so hard that everyone's like, what's up? This is the best place to be. I guess. All right, well, I guess that's the plan then, as I'm just gonna try to cash out. Cause the last, maybe that's what happened, is the last caravan left outraged by our behavior of wanting to not get ripped off that they told every dwarf that there was no point coming here. And thus they fucking absolutely dumpstered my entire colony. Stop asking to join. I don't want more fucking monster hunters. Whatever. Once they see how nice this fucking tourism hotspot is, they're going to lose their mind and then they're going to fucking change their tune. Then they're going to change their fucking tune. I'll tell you what. You'll see. Oh, yeah. It's going to be huge. Do still need that sheriff, but we have no one that's a good, really fit for a sheriff. Just want this place to be smoothed out. I want this done. I need it done. And I guess while that's happening, I'll capitalize on carving out the, uh, the thing here. The nightmare magma zone, which could kill everyone. Okay, so let's see here. This is all a giant pool of magma. We can visualize that now. We have an enormous magma, like, pile right here contained by rocks. It's right here. I'm gonna gamble it goes up quite a ways. We're gonna dig here. 
I'm gonna see if we get a warm rock doing that. I'm gonna start going down. It's gonna take a little while though, because we have everything else we still need to dig out upstairs. Sam, the only reason I'm concerned is because like, I really need that migrant thing to come because I need to fucking, I, dude, I need, I need seeds. I need like supplies. I'm kind of in a situation. Did we finish? How much more gold do we have? I'm gonna just keep making gold stuff. Uh, bars. Holy shit, we have a lot of gold. Let's keep making crafts. More crafts. Make more gold crafts. Might as well. Doors are coming in. Let's get those in. Let's get started installing these. He's the closest one. Looking good. Get all the officers installed. Oh yeah, look at all this. We got so many rocks though. We really need to deal with that. All right, perfect. So the, what was this section gonna be? I don't even fucking remember. I do remember this tiny spot was gonna be the temple, which is technically good to go. Though I do not know how to make a temple. I'm going to open up the wiki for that. I think I can trust it on that one. Temple. No, that's temperate climate. Temple. Show me the answers I ask for. Okay. Temples can be created by at meeting areas. They require instruments for their music and thus also containers to store them. Pfft. Fuck you. What did you just say? Well, let's hope we can fit all that, because I'm not making the place bigger. All right? <laughs> but I will say that soon this will be a beautiful temple area. Yes, sir. -y. This right here. Absolutely immaculate temple. Oh, fuck. Really? I have to do it for... Hey, okay, who's like the one that the most people are gonna like? Seven, six, two, four, five, three, three, two, one, two, two, two. Can we get like, I don't know, some... Can we get like an agreed upon? Can we make a... Can we make a... I don't know, like... People will be like the frothy gates. <laughs> I'll just say no specific. We'll just make our own. That's how most places do it, right? We'll just make our own. We'll get we'll go ahead and we'll just make one that everyone can enjoy. Nice and vague. Can I also put an order in we need to make instruments then? We're gonna need instruments. Uh mmm. Crafts dwarf, probably. Keyboard. Is instruments their own thing? Why do I feel like it's mechanical? Hmm, where is this? I've seen it before. So I know that I have it. Piano, harp, uh... Is, it feels like it's craft. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna narrow it down in craft and figure out what the fucking name of it is. Craft. Make instrument. There we go. I just didn't know the name of it. It was a Zaz. Oh, God damn it. What the fuck is this crap? All right, we're going to make uh, what looks like it'll be the easiest. <laughs> yeah, uh, 
Now, which one of these uh, instruments seems like it'd be the easiest? We don't want that. That requires bone body parts that are unrotten. We don't really want that. Let's make a one that's only one part. Okay, we can make everything for the castle right now. We're gonna just put in the order for the castle hammer and string. And then we'll tell him to make a castle. Once that's done. Easy. Who? Dude, fucking really truly fuck off. Really truly fuck off. All right. Looking good. Everything's looking good. Is the new zone... It's actually mostly done. Nice. We will need to haul a lot of rocks out. And frankly... Okay. I'm thinking it's just about time that we add, like, a new garbage bin. So I'm just gonna put one here. We're gonna, right behind the temple, <laughs> right next to the temple, we're just gonna put a bin right next to it. For, for garbage. We're gonna let it stink up. Yeah. We do have magma soon, though. Yeah, I know you're right. But I the problem is I don't want to haul all this upstairs is the point. That's the issue. I don't really want to do trips up and down stairs. God, this really did end up looking like our Arstotzka, huh? Fuck. Ah, oh, shit, it's worse than a cock. Oh, no. Door, 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 door. Doors are coming along. This is all getting done. What is this guy? What are you guys even? Oh, they're all praying. They're all looking for where like Jesus is. Praying to the frothy gates. And this guy, and Chase is medita meditating on suicide. Very cool, Chase. Hey, Chase. What's up? Uh, hey, man. <laughs> you good, man? Chase, what's going on? Okay, well, um, keep on keeping it real, man. Right on. Very cool. We're gonna need more doors. I know that we just... <laughs> it feels kind of fucked up that this guy made all these doors and then literally I'm just gonna put it another order that just says make more doors. As soon as they recline in their chair thinking they're done making doors, the order comes in. Uh, you're gonna need to make even more uh, right now. God damn, that's a lot of people that want to pray. Well, can we like, I don't know, how's the how's the instrument thing coming along? Is that done? It is done. Okay, uh, make an instrument. Wherever those pieces were that we made, they're in the garbage, because they're gone. Last I recalled, we made them. <laughs> Where'd they? How's that even possible? Make it again. Just make it again. We'll just put it in again. Make the cathode hammers. Maybe it's that I'm missing one more thing. Piece, instrument. Hang on, I'll just search it like this. 
Oh, never mind. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> you can't. Just... <laughs> Look at me. We're gonna figure this one out. Okay. I need the body. I need the cathode body. I'll put it in as a work order. Because I can't look it up anywhere else. Make a cathode body. <laughs> Just one, please. You know what? Two. Because we are we already are making more hammers and string. We'll just make more we'll just make more stuff. It's fine. I need to start picking all this up, but I don't want people to go like, oh hi, I had a bed and now it's gone. What's up? Uh has this part been dug out? No. It's just really important that part gets dug out because that's uh going to be where the um you know going to where the garbage is for every rock on this entire floor that isn't sandstone. And we're gonna use, oh, there it is. Okay, very good, guys, very good. Uh, now, if we could please. <laughs> if we could please construct a, what's the word for this? Where is it? There's a specific thing. I will just dig it. Yeah, we'll just do this. Uh, ramp down. I want a hole. I just want to build, like, dig a hole. But I think that means I need to ramp it down. I've made pits before. This is not right. Who was it matter? Hang on. If we just, hmm. I don't know why this is stun locking me so much. I remember, may, oh, I know what it was. It was, I was thinking about the pit idea. And it confused me. Well, this is going to be a new dump. Yep. Uh. This one's for God. This one's God's dump. And I'm gonna go ahead and ramp it down. Making a ramp on the level below. That's what I want. Perfect. Yes. I want to ramp that too. Into that. Someone's going to get stuck in this, aren't they? They're coming to do it. Let's see how this plays out. Okay. Now, man, what I want you to do is dig one more. Oh, no, it happened. Okay, bud, Enith, this is the plan. I want you to keep digging channels down. You're the only guy who can, buddy. What I want you to do is do that until elevation 28, and then we're going to evac you. Okay? Good. Did he get out? Holy shit, he's fucking good. Is he... How the hell did he... He's up here fucking drinking alcohol. Dude's a grandmaster fucking, like, omega miner. Of course he wouldn't get stuck in the pit. He's a literal magician. He got thirsty. He teleported out. Okay, well, I mean, it's deep enough. Now we just need to put a floor here. Then cancel this, this, that. There. Build the floor. Now, if I say this is garbage, 
hopefully someone will like run over and yep huck it right in there good good now i do want to make it very clear guys that almost everything you see is fucking garbage up here uh i want a lot of it cleared out i kind of like the jet though but i like the sandstone more already got a lot of it what's this magnetite don't care get out of here All right, perfect. We've got a nice pit for rocks right next to the trash, uh, the temple. Are the instruments done? I do vaguely remember asking people to make cathels. Yeah, that command hasn't even gone through yet. We'll have to loop back on it. Some people get wheelbarrows to move things. Some people like Besmer haul rocks with their fucking bare hands. A new pit rises. Manager slacking. Manager is fucking slacking. How's our gold crafts going? Because really that's so much of our job now. Holy shit. I go up. Seems like we have a lot of high quality gold stuff. Nice. Okay. Well, now that we have the living quarters, I don't have a lot of space to do this. I'm gonna have to place all this other stuff first because we have all these beds. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start making like the dorms and then we're gonna start moving people down into them. I'm sorry, have we not been making the doors? Fuck's my manager, man! It's just a joke to him! I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool, it's not a big deal. So we're gonna do four beds per room in these dorms. It's gonna sleep almost the entire colony just in this corner. Once these are placed, and I put the dorms down with like the furniture for them, we're gonna delete the old ones. And then we'll use all those for the rest of this place. Cabinets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone gets a little something, dude. Look at this. All right, perfect. Doors won't be done anytime soon, but, uh... I thought you were making individual houses. What, are you fucking crazy? You know how many dwarves you get in this fucking game? No fucking way am I giving them individual housing. The- like, this is for management. <laughs> this is for the normals, okay? Well, it's nicer than the barracks. Yeah, but the barracks will be very nice. We want our soldiers to respect us. Oh yeah, we can actually now do the thing. Down into the depths. Brown. Has anyone started doing this? Oh, it's autumn. All right, chat, when the trading caravan comes, they are going to fucking like us, so help me God. Okay. We need this caravan to trade well with us. We're gonna give them a- we're gonna give them gifts. I might even give them the cursed ring, I don't fucking know. I need to make the new trade depot. Put it right next to the house. Like that. Do it. Okay, it's fall. We don't have many seeds of anything, but stuff is growing. We really need to buy more plump helmet spawns. I mean, I need to move stuff down into the basement. I'm gonna guess that's why nothing has been dug yet in the... Yeah, because they've been clearing it. Whoa! Hey, where are our warriors? 
Where's our fucking monster hunters at, guys? Asking for a friend. Monster slayers. The people, the people that moved in to slay monsters. You denied them all. I did not deny all of them. Matter of fact, I've got fucking five of them. Literally five of them. One of them's a lord. And they're all praying! <laughs> I knew I was making a mistake when I brought religion into this colony! Literally one of them is meditating on killing himself! I, I'm truly baffled. Do I mobilize my boys? I guess I'll... I don't want to fight him. He's going to kill me. Dude. Dude, I don't know about this, dude. We hired... We brought these guys in for a reason. If they can't get this guy in the next, like, fucking 30 seconds, I'm going to exile all of them. How'd this guy get in? Like, I know we can climb walls, but the thing is, this there's a ceiling on this whole area. Uh, yep, there it is. I think right here somehow, maybe. Maybe? No. How'd he get in? There is no spot here that would have enabled him to cr climb over. Above the door? No. Oh, you're fucking right. This has to be too high. In reality, we need to build the wall right here. Yep, there it is. That's how we got in. Yep, he just ate. He just fucking ate this guy. I'm gonna exile all those fucking guys. I swear to God, I'm gonna exile them. That's literally the expedition leader. I'm actually mad, dude. I can't. I actually, I'm actually fucking mad. I'm mad. I'm mad not because he's in, but because everyone that I fucking brought in to hunt monsters is currently praying to God. I can't believe it. Putting down a kill order on this. I mean, Endless is gonna fucking die. We're losing him. He's healthy right now, but he's gonna die. But the best thing I can do is maybe set him on a burrow. Is this hospital spot set up? It should be. I, I, I'm actually baffled. I'm never letting in, like, people just to hunt monsters again in my fucking base. I'll never do it again. I am so fucking mad right now. Where is Inela? Where is he? Oh, is he already dead? <laughs> oh, no, there he is. Inelith. The only way Inalith lives is if he ignores this fight and runs for it. The spider fucked off. He's seriously injured, but he's alive. The spider is also seriously injured. Somehow the Inalith managed to fight him off. Holy shit! Inalith fucking broke his legs. <laughs> He just fucking beat the shit out of his legs. The spider's limping away, dude. Inalith, how's your health? He can't stand. His right legs are also cut open. He's had his le- He's- Dude. I think I'm gonna get rid of the church. I, I'm actually like, I'm actually thinking I'm going to exile these guys. I'm going to kick them out because they're just drinking my alcohol. They're, they're literally just drinking my alcohol and not doing anything else. 
Like, what good are they? If they're not going to hunt the spiders in the basement, they truly serve no purpose. I'm, I, I don't know what else to do. Like, I, they're, the, the, I'm running out of resources because of them. They're just drinking and praying. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Where the fuck are my boys? I, I truly sent Bim and the others down to kill this guy. Where the fuck is Bim? Where's Bim? I know it's a long walk. Where the fuck is Bim? Why do I not even see him in here? Bim. He's still going to pick up his stuff. Is he really slow because he's hauling gold nuggets upstairs instead of dropping his job to do stuff? They literally like he, I told Sodal Shusazarath has been found dead. Everyone else went down to fight this spider and they died. Literally everyone else went down to fight them, died. Somehow, our expedition leader. Oh, look who it fucking is! Yeah, he went that way, you prick! You fucking prick! Cancel that order. I am baffled. I'm literally baffled. How do I save this guy? How do I save Ineth and get him, like, upstairs? Somebody needs to, like, carry him out of here. I don't know how. I have a doctor. We have a doctor. I have a fucking doctor. Literally, I have a chief medical board. And I also have a hospital, which I've shown you. <laughs> Maybe I have to, like, say, like, put the order in somewhere else. Where's my doctor? Kubik. All right, Kubik. I need you to do all of these things. Your job is healthcare. I don't care what else you do. And that's all you do. Okay. You do this. So now they should be going down to do that. Drop what they're doing. Dude, it's so frustrating that I can't, like, resume the game while in this menu to make sure someone's doing something. I have to do this. Watch it. Are they finally fucking going? A little fucking late, you jackass. All right, let's see if Kadi, the lord, can fucking do this. Why do I feel like he's not even going to the spider? Because all I see is like voracious cave crawlers currently walking to the uh, base. I'm just baffled. Can't expel him since he's a lord too. Yeah, he's basically locked himself into my base. Oh. 
It looks like they've recovered him. Look, those two were fucking nobodies. It's okay that we lost those two. Who cares? Enith is unconscious and healing. We need to fix the basement. We can't let that spider get back in. That's... Oh, that's so frustrating. I... The fact that Enith won, but two armored fighters couldn't do it? Actually, truly wild. So, Sotal died. Besmar died. I don't even remember what the fuck Sotal did. He won with broken legs. Oh, we need more storage items. Dude, I oh I can't I can't stand that fucking work order thing how it doesn't like set it instantly to this. Need more barrels. Okay. So in reality, what I needed to do was cut it this way. I needed to do a wall like this. And I've decided I don't care about the fighters, and they serve no purpose to me. And I'm going to seal this fucking place. I don't care about them. About the fact that they won't be able to fight. Just don't. Okay. There. Get that done. So until that thing's done... Spiders can technically come and get us. You two are off shift. Fuck off. Go home. Kind of pissed how long it took Bim to get down there. I think they would have been... Oh, my God. Oh, wait. We just found them dead. Oh, fuck you. Dude, there's two dead dwarves here, man. Bro. Can't expel him because he's nobility. I hope he gets killed out there. I hope he gets sealed out there, to be frank. Yeah, come on, guys. Build the wall before he can get back in. Come on, guys. Do it before he gets in. Come on, guys. Don't go out there. What are you doing? They're trying to grab the dead bodies. All right, we're burrowing this. I've had enough of it. Uh, I, I've been putting off making another burrow because um, it's just a lot. Those guys, pff, do whatever you want. I don't care. I don't care what you do. Uh, but the gear, uh, I don't care about the gear on those two. Their gear is fucking copper and gold stuff. I can make that any day of the week. Where is the spider? Because I don't think it died is the problem. I don't think the spider died. Right now I need this done. I want these guys to not go outside anymore while I do it. So... Yeah. Going forward, the situation is clear. This is the realm you are legally allowed to traverse, my dwarves. What is beyond it is not for you to know and not for you to explore. Your land is here. This is your home. Yes. It's gonna take a I don't think I have to paint every single one of these, do I? I don't have to do like every tunnel hallway, do I? They'll like connect the dots.
Just while we finish this, you can paint vertically. Uh, it's not letting me. Case in point, because I just tried and it didn't do it. So. I'm just locking them to it until they finish this. Just finish the wall. I want that guy locked out. I literally want that guy locked out. I want that noble dead. Seal him. Caravan's here. Fuck, everyone act like stuff's fine. Don't let anyone see the expedition leader. No one let anyone... Uh, Enith is resting. He's sleeping. Not on a bed. Oh, uh, you think he'd be on a bed. He'll be fine. Did they ever finish the, uh... Dude, I just can't... I just can't believe that that happened. I can't believe Enith 1 survived. Oh, don't get locked out, you st Oh, good. Alright, he's finishing it. Where's that asshole? Where is he? <laughs> Where's that prick? Good fucking riddance to him, alright? Good fucking riddance. I've had enough. By the time he gets back, it'll be too late. He will be sealed. <laughs> he just got... He just stepped over a dwarf, looked behind him, was like, huh? An expedition leader. Okay, they're meeting. I'm your liaison from, Mo from Mountain Homes. Let's discuss your situation. There's much to share. We need... I'll tell you what we fucking need. We need plump helmets. You want to help us? Get us plump helmets? Okay. Get us glass. Raw, clear glass. Okay. And get us seeds. For more plump helmets. Goodbye. A need for footwear is expected. Hang on, let's discuss what we are willing to offer for your craft or ship. A need for footwear is expected. If you are able to provide some, the caravan will offer 191%. This export agreement only applies to the trades next year. Okay. Nope. No more monster hunters. I, I literally won't let monster hunters in anymore. Is this place officially safe now? Yes. It was a process, but no more spiders getting in through that fucking hole anymore. I wish there was a way to set some farmland to be like, hey, plant everything. Just plant everything. Okay. They brought cages like I asked! <laughs> I remember when they asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I said I want cages to catch gorillas. They really only brought cages. I was really banking on you guys bringing like some plump helmets though too. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and move all my, uh, our crates. Let's get the finished goods. Trim bin. Finished good bin, move that over. Finished goods bin, move that over. I swear I had more finished goods than this. Ah, uh, well, get those moved. Is there like a bunch of finished goods 
in like uh this no that's all of our gold stuff okay yeah that's what we want to move it's also where the we're gonna sell that fucking stupid toy i don't really care about it oh my god i can't i can't believe how fucking absolutely instantly tilted i was at the gr at like the fucking like spider thing Specifically because of the comedy of bullshit that it took to get there, as in, like... Spider attacks our best miner. I check where all the monster hunters are that I've been complaining about all day, and they're all praying to God. Huh. Is Enith any good at fighting now? Dude, he's back to hauling. He's back to being good. He's dabbling in everything now. He feels good right now. But he misses his family, brother. He dabbles. Move those fucking- move those boxes. Alright, I wanna know how much money we can make for this crap. Get that shit up here. Good. I'm sorry, uh, where's my... Broker, get up there. Okay, cool. Alright, so what do you got for sale this time? Do you think this is a fucking joke? <laughs> really? I brought- I brought my A game and you brought eight cages. Not eight cages and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Literally just eight cages. Did you assume that was the only thing I cared about? These are nickel and tin. They're gonna fucking break the second a gorilla punches them. These aren't even good! <sighs> I guess I'll take all of your cages. And in exchange... I'd like to sell you many gold items. $8,000 for Kutustalazan. And... Shago Gadesh. I'm not selling my artifacts. I'm not doing that. But what I will do is give him a bunch more stuff than he really needs. Because what I want is for this guy to uh, tell everyone that I'm fucking rich. So here's a bunch of shit on the house, dude. You're going to make a lot of money out of this. Isn't that fun? They're very happy about trading. Good. And here. This is a little something from me to you. I I put a horsebone figurine of Etor Cloys into their hand. They're very happy about this. I will see our leader gets this offering. Really? Uh, okay, if we're talking about offerings, uh, I got a bunch of cat bone merchandise. Do you want? I'm just giving them all the cat bone stuff. All the bones. If it's bone, we're giving it to him. I don't think this thing knows how to search. I don't think this- I, I think the game forgot how to search things. That's fine, whatever, I'll just do it by hand. Alright man, here's every bone item we made, like, five years ago. Take them. I think the person who made them is dead now, so that actually increases the quality. <laughs> that means they're more valuable. Think about it. Here you go. Alright, they're gonna tell their leader. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Like, actually get get lost. Okay. So, at the very least... We stabilized, we did not lose our boy. Can I craft the two... Instruments now. Can I go make those? I need to. I want to assemble the two cathals. 
Although I think before I do that, I have to take back all this, all my goods from here. I want these all moved. No, not to, from. I want these back. Ah, whatever. When they're gone, it'll come back. Because I think those actually have the parts for the castles in them. Currently. Okay. Uh, we're going to dismantle this all now. Can I bulk disassemble? Like, I want all this section gone. But I don't see a way to do that. I don't think I can. I guess not. I guess I gotta do this incredibly slowly one at a time. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a thou- There's gotta be a better way to do this. Hey, is there really not a better- There's really not a better way. Okay. Wait, hold up. Maybe? Nope. You can make macros. Dude, I love this game. Uh, they spent enough time making this fucking tile set and Steam version that the fact that there's not a dedicated tool with the mouse to sweep over a big old room of furniture and tell it all to get deleted is borderline unacceptable. So I don't think that's true. I feel like I'm just missing it. Because that would be unacceptable at this point in the game. So surely I'm missing it. For sure. Go to the mining tab. Last option. Nope, that's only for stuff that, uh... Designate constructed walls, floors. That's for walls and constructed tiles, not furniture. So, no. Oh, good. More people that want to fight monsters in my basement. Just pick up all this stuff, guys, and get it reinstalled. Take it all to the thing. We're moving you all into the basement. Taking you all to the dorms. It's just so much. It's so much. And some of them are actually pulled up now. It's just they look like they're not. So it's like... Slowly but surely... We will get through it. I mean, maybe I can make a binding for it. Fortress building. Hockey, building a bed. No. Macros. Hey, that doesn't help me. If there's not a means to act, like, actually access it via keybinds, I don't even know if I can in this version of Dwarf Fortress. Because it's using the mouse in this one. What's this? Oh, the doors are done? Good, good. We've been waiting on the doors. Let's get these all installed. Finally, the dorms are done. Well, will be done. At last, after all this time, we'll finally have the dorms done. It's taken a while, taken a damn long time, but soon we will be free. These will be individual rooms for people with management, but I'm not doing those until I'm done with all of the dorms. They can remain sad. I'm, I'm really just going to do all of the main ones first for the people 
Let them complain if they want. Everyone is equal in my world. Until later. Very good. They just don't stop praying. Me this guy's meditating on fish. Uh, can I make the church the basement? Fuck off. Fuck off. Can I just make the church, like, down in, like, the shit? Why wouldn't I? None of my dwarfs use it. It's just for them. Why wouldn't I? More fucking random idiots coming by. When it, Uvash, when are you going to grow up and get powerful? Because, like, God knows we have nothing. We truly, we truly, truly, more so now than ever, need powerful dwarves to take up, to take up arms against the ever encroaching darkness beneath us. Also, where are all of the dwarves? They should be hauling this stuff. Are they sleeping? Because they don't have a bed anymore. That guy just walked in looking for his bed. He can't find it. Because I got rid of him. All right, so like surely you're not looking for your beds because they don't exist. So, um, move your shit downstairs. Guess I'll designate these as dorms. Dorm one, dorm two. Oh, wait, I need to use like the multi thing, don't I? Uh, delete. Dormitory, but we need to label it. Wait, how do I do it like that? I, I've done it like that before. I thought there was a way that you could say that, like, I want these to technically be different labels. Except. I guess I can't right now. Except. So these are now different things. Yeah, we just have to do it like that. I thought I could like hold a button and do it a different way. It's not a big deal. Oh, do I need to include the doors? No, I don't think so. Okay. Dorm. 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 It's technically a downgrade from their old dorms, some of them, but they'll live. They'll, they'll learn to be happy. I need to make sure they're not still in that burrow. No. Wait, no. Yeah, we do need to disable those. Okay. Cool. Alright. Yeah, they were still in the burrow thing. That was my bad. But, obviously, I was stunlocked up until now. Fuck off. Fuck off. These guys aren't set to a burrow. They're just not... They're just idiots. I just can't. I'm just scared of what's out there. Hang on. I am gonna build the other door now. I'm gonna put another door down here. Just so they can go outside and kill themselves. My guys won't go out there, ideally. But, uh, I want, um... I want them to be able to go out there sometimes. And then we'll worry about the magma for- <gasps> Bro, come on! Like, fuck off, man! Cool! My fortress is fucked. I literally can't- like, people are happy. Like, they're having a good time. I literally can't get new people, despite the fact that I live next to dwarves. I just keep getting spammed with monster hunters. That's so sad. 
Like literally my only option is to start from scratch again. Might be because of all the monsters. We've had one spider. All the monsters were killed by Crundles. Ooh, we do need to deal with these, uh... Should probably make like a tomb for those two. Nah, no one seems to be bothering. It's such a shame. Like, I really don't know the solution to that. Like, if it's truly that I just put my place in a, like, area where no one lived, that's such a sad thing. And the fact that the game at no point is like, hey, are you fucking sure? Is fucked up. I mean, I guess they haven't had a chance to send people an update, like, from the merchants that I'm cool yet. So maybe that's why. Oh, this is warm still? Okay, we're still in a magma zone. So I'm going to go up to here and do the dig. Oh, that was not it. It's okay. Try there. It's not RNG. When you settle an area, it tells you who's near you. I know. And I settled this area because, uh, let's see, I'm right here. Uh, there's two dwarven hillocks with about... Uh, around 50 people in both of them. Uh, there's another one right there. Uh, another one right, uh, there. There, there are dwarves. There's a, there's a dwarven mountain right there. I live here. I'm not that far away from dwarves. So I'm just like... What the fuck? Those aren't your civilization's dwarves. Where's my civilization? Because I don't even see... Like, the UI for this is so useless. Like, I don't know how to even ID... What the fuck any of this fucking means. Because it doesn't even highlight these places. Like, good luck find Blue ones on the map, typically. So these guys way over here. Can I like petition to switch? Cause that's uh, you need to create more wealth. Well, my wealth is a solid two twenty-five uh, thousand. I'm just gonna try not think about it, cause that's gonna demoralize me to the point of not playing the game anymore. So I'm just gonna ignore it. And just keep playing with the guys I have instead of uh, worry about that. Get all that gold. I mean, I can believe me, I can spit out some fucking like money. I, I can make money. I can. I just haven't really been making crafts. The second I started making the gold stuff, we went up like 20k. It's just I have to, like, I've been distracted by the fact that we are constantly getting fucking worthless guys. Like, asking to move in, and they just pray they don't even do anything. I am gonna get rid of that fucking church. The amount of people, I only see like one of my dwarves even using it. I hate them. See, what I'm thinking is maybe, chat, we invest in tourism. Like, not this kind of tourism. I mean tourism, like tavern, get this place working well, get people to come in thinking they're going to hang out, have a good time, and then, like, just get them to ask if they can truly join the colony. Maybe we just do that. Because it seems like we're not going to get migrants. And I kind of need a way 
to pull people. So maybe I just make a tourist trap, but I kind of need stability with farming first, which means it's time to move the farms downstairs. I can't believe I have to do this one at a time. Okay. We are moving the dining hall officially out of here. One fucking block at a time. Christ. <laughs> it's so cursed. I can't believe you have to do it like this. Okay. So this also needs to be moved down to here. We're gonna make this section dining hall, this tavern. Uh, which means I actually wanna carve out, I think, a food section here. I do this. Hang on. Yeah, that's that's math that works. And then it's the same on the other side. Okay. We're gonna make like small stockpiles for food and drink here. How's uh oh the, are they not going to the garbage that I wanted them to dump stuff in? Who dumped pants here? No, they're hawking stuff in there. It's just there's so much. Okay. We're gonna need so many tables too. I wish I could already, I wish I could do matching tables, but it's just like, it's not gonna happen. It's just not on the table, unfortunately. Okay. Fuck, I still wanna do the magma thing too. I've got like five different projects I wanna do. Who's even supposed to be doing this? Cause they just stopped. Oh, we're out of logs. Okay. All of this, cut it all down. And can someone get these? <laughs> the traders are gone. Does anyone want to go collect this stuff? Who is this? Lots of people are still hauling stuff up here. I might just get rid of this old dump because uh, I don't care about stinking up the place where those humans work with like stinky dead bodies. Might just disable this one for now. I'm gonna pause that one. People can go downstairs. Is idiot still alive? Yeah, it is still alive. He's still doing okay. He's still thriving in his space, having a wonderful time. Living in garbage, living in filth. What's this? Still dealing with warm stone. Here. This is a... Hang on, what does this look like at the top? I'm gonna check something. Really quick. It'd be so convenient if this was like really just a massive pipe of lava, like a volcano style thing. That truly what, no, there's lava here. We don't need to check this. Never mind. cancel that. 
Okay, so let's go with like, let's say... What the fuck? Okay, right there is still no good. Right there is no good. Cancel that. Cancel that. Lava, lava, still lava. Let's try at elevation 60. What happens? Okay. I've heard if you fall in lava IRL, you don't sink, rather you just bounce to death, just like Mario. Just like Mario. Just like my favorite character, Mario. Get all those logs in. All right, good. Okay, here's the situation. Now, I'd like to do this very quickly, take care of it. We've got all this fertile farmland. I want all of this shit. Okay, on the surface, first and foremost, cleared out. All these plants. Okay. We're gonna zone this place a little better than the other farms, because we don't have as much to work with. I'm basically just gonna make patches for different things. Plump helmets will be this big patch right here. We'll just tell these spots to all do their own unique things and we'll get rid of the old farms entirely. Is this... Oh, these are dead. Yeah, I need to cut these down. Plant gathering... Which one of these just deletes a bunch of crap? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess my characters will just get rid of it. Either way, I want them to harvest the mushrooms that are here because they're already plump helmets down here. Uh, which really just tells me that this place is going to get us just really set up. This is going to be wonderful for us. No fucking way. Hang on. Oh, that's the old one. Yeah, I already, I already clocked that. Tetrahedrite, don't really care. Harvest all that, boys. Collect all those things for me now. Suppose we've got all these out of here. God, look at that. Drinks are coming drinks are coming back up since we started exiling people. Who's upset? Why? What's wrong? Okay, yeah, we get it, all right? I'm sorry that currently the dead bodies of those two dwarves are decaying and being devoured outside. Okay, I'm sorry that Besmar's mangled skeleton and so did all shoots throughout the rest of his mangled skeletons are still outside. Unfortunately, okay, there's a spider out there. A spooky spider. You don't want to go out there. What, do you want to go out and get those bodies? Didn't think so. You fool. Okay. That one? Plump helmet. This one? Something else. I know this is shit. It's because there's like rocks on the ground which fuck it up. I really just... I need it to be split by one. So I can very clearly... What the fuck was that? Ostrich monster. Apparently that one won't place. Some kind of creature outside. For now, let's just set these. 
Oh, they're going outside. I think he, I think Cotty's going out to do it right now. Never mind, he actually got tired of doing it and went back inside. Dude, I've got this actual fucking like true bozo in the colony who's a coward. He's scared of fighting. He's going back home now to eat. I hate him. Okay, well, look. We're moving a lot of our food-based infrastructure down here. Specifically because it's where the best farms are. So, I'm going to set a stockpile here. Also construct new stills. We're gonna make all of our alcohol in-house down here. Yep. Fuck, I forgot to lock it in. Except... Alright, this'll all be... Uh... Food... No, just... I think just dimple cups and, um... Plump helmets. Like, I'll, I'll keep labeling the other stuff that, like, we actually source out of here. I don't want them bringing it upstairs. I don't think there's much point if we be making it all in alcohol anyways. Guessing he's constructing it. Yeah. Everyone's doing their thing. Hey, at least the top of our fucking base is incredibly safe because it's fucking absolutely infested by human warriors. Have we dug this out all the way? This thing keeps fucking going. Okay. Try here. Elevation 40. You go much higher, we're gonna start reaching like the wa the ocean cavern. Am I reached the right depth for this though? I might cut this too short. Hang on, I actually gotta do this a little bit longer. Like that. Watch this. Hop! Oh boy! Whoa, Nelly! Oh, there it is. No creatures would be dumb enough to dive into the fucking lava pool to get us. So here's what I'm thinking. This is the open space level, right? So we need to build out from this level out. I'm not gonna put our fucking roof over us, Chad. I'm not a psycho. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna build out one block. <laughs> but this is magma. So this is the surface. We need to put the at, we need to put the actual furnace here. Let me seal this first, though. I'm not fucking with this. Oh, there's already bats eyeing it up. Oh no. Wall. Any kind. Seal it. I'm just gonna watch it. I'm not letting anyone sneak in. Babe, what's wrong? He's worried because he hasn't prayed in a long time. I gotta get rid of that fucking church. It's only made people sadder since we introduced it, dude. I swear. I've been doing as right by these guys as possible, but they're even sadder than ever before. It's kind of pissing me off. Okay. 
Okay, well. Tables. Three, one, two, three, perfect. We're gonna do some really. S Actually, we want to do it like this, so it's aligned with that. Yeah. It's not gonna be perfectly centered with the hall, but it's instead gonna be perfectly centered with the stockpile. Actually, at that point, why don't I do them long instead? Probably because if I wanted to do that, I'd have to cancel them all one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be doing that, baby. That's the layout. Do we not have any thrones currently put in the thing? Okay, these guys are going to keep crying until we, like, get a fucking, like, tomb going. Fine. Okay? Fine. Next to church sector, we're going to put, like, a fucking thing for this. Okay? Fine, we're going to make, like, a... We're gonna make like a tomb for the two dead dwarves. I know that they're, they've been decayed, <laughs> but maybe this will make you all a little bit happier. No, they're not gonna be big tombs, okay? I'm not made out of money. Yes, I'm making a couple more than necessarily there are. Can I put in a work order for this? You got a fucking rock. I'm not made out of money. Did that say glass? Ew! <laughs> Ew! What? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> we don't have glass, dude. Make two rock coffins. For the people we lost along the way. Oh my god, they never got the chairs. That's why I've been looking for the thrones. No one ever picked them up. There's just some idiot sitting in one right here. Okay. Uh, we want to delete this. It's all of our drinks. This goes here. Food, drink, all. And all animal drink as well. Cool. Oh, wait, no, this will be food. This will be tap. Actually, I guess they're gonna have the same layout, aren't they? It doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna put another. Now we just need to make the stockpile for the mugs. Okay, and this will allow one bin done. Mugs. We're moving the old mug bin for this. Which is wildly annoying to find. Type goblets of all makes and models. I really don't care what it's made out of. Just get it all in here, man. Good. And then we delete the old one. Dumpster it. Good. Moving it all downstairs. Now this is being deleted. Move this zone. Oh, we got a lot of garbage here. What's this a petition for? Erd scarred camped? Uh, we don't have space. Sorry, man. Got a lot of rocks. How about time we just say some of this we don't really need? Huh? Considering it's getting a little out of hand. Another useless monster slayer. Yeah, no one's surprised. I mean, I'm sure not. OK, 
Okay, hopefully that person's moving this into the only place that it makes sense to move it to. Right on. Okay, perfect. Okay. So this is going to be for foods. Like actual food. Real food. Custom. Food. All. All. Aside from drinks. Go across to the other side of the fucking place you want to get drinks. Okay? This is stuff that... No, no, no. Matter of fact, this is just stuff that you could actually eat. So prepared meals. Alright, uh, no, 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 none. Prepared meals. Will that actually work? Seems like we just... I th is prepared meals vague enough? Is that too vague? Do I need to get more specific? I want it to just be stuff that's prepared. Should be fine. We'll see. Okay. Still got lots of stuff I need to place down. Uh, furniture, cabinets. Get all those placed. God, it's so much work to like move things. Hopefully this is the only time I ever have to do this ever. Chest, 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 chest. Wait a minute, but we already have these. Eh, whatever. It'll make him happier, probably. Okay. And it'll clear out all the space in my workbench. Or my stockpiles. Good, good. Now, if someone could take out this... These rocks that are just like in the stockpiles. That'd be good. Thank you. Just when you get the chance. Maybe not the copper though. Those are kind of valuable enough. Another petition. Shem Author Clouded. Another monster slayer. We haven't seen a monster in these parts in 40 years. Aside from the giant cave toad. Whom lives in the actually inaccessible zone. Aside from this giant cave toad, we haven't seen a monster in a thousand years. But I'll tell you what, you find a monster and point him out to us, then maybe we can talk. Oh, you mean you want to hunt a monitor lizard like that last sicko, that last sick freak who came through these parts? I suppose you could try. Guys, can we please grab all these cages that I bought? If the next guy comes back and sees these cages here, he's gonna feel like he, like... Like, like I don't know, it's gonna make him feel bad. Bring those in. Okay, there's nothing even in any of these, aside from this one. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Once those plump helmets are gone, do not replant them. Down to the bottom. Why? Why? Why is this door open? I would love to look at this door. We didn't lock it. I guess you're right. They can use doors, huh? They can just use them. Well, hmm. I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. This is actually a really powerful play. Okay, check this one out. First of all, watch. This is really badass. I only realized now I could do it. Uh, I'm gonna make a new burrow. It's for just this level. <laughs> yep. It's gonna be a red big stop sign. Background is gonna be like I don't know, also red. Danger, blood, danger. 
Except... I'm going to assign all of our, like, monster hunters to this one. Okay. I'm going to name this place Do Your Fucking Job. Okay. And it's active. And at the same time, just while they do their fucking job, I'm going to set us back on a burrow here, but this burrow is not going to be including... the current area down here. I just don't want them down here. So now that this is active, she should run back inside. While these guys come down here and do their fucking job. All right. So I forced them to do their job, even though they can't take orders, so they'd better do their fucking job! Feffin! Do your fucking job! I didn't hire you! I didn't allow you to move in here! So you could skip it! So kill these fucking elk things! And just ignoring them. Don't know what they're up to, but the monsters have walked by him and are now in the base. And one of them just ran up the stairs. Christ, fucking Lord Almighty, Lord, Lord, Jesus Christ. Maybe we need to ask, a large creature found grazing on mushrooms deep uh, underground. It walks on two legs and has the head of a bird with the antlers of a great elk. Maybe they're friendly. Maybe they're naturally not bad. They're coated in the blood of Besmar boom has been dead for years. That's not a good look. I'm going to go on out on a limb here and say that's not a good look for them. Well, I guess I'm going to watch how they, they got terrified of something. They're running back downstairs. Now they're running back upstairs. They're running back downstairs. Okay, so this one, this elk bird, the one we've been watching, has officially decided they're leaving the colony, whether or not they have permission or not. They're coming upstairs. They are coming upstairs. Yep, they've passed the threshold. They've changed their mind. No, they're going up. They're going up! And they're going back down. They're going all the way back down. They peeked at the surface and they changed their mind. Can't tell if they're getting attacked or not. But they're getting tired from all the running. <laughs> you gonna shoot them? He's trying to get alcohol. This is one of the. Sh th these fucking monster hunters are some of the most embarrassing motherfuckers I've seen in my entire life. Oh, I'm getting a petition. What? What's up? Lum Soakstones wishes to reside in glad theaters for the purpose of eradicating monsters. Do I look like a fucking, like, what is this? What is this? They're friendly? Well, currently they're fucking, like, like, throwing a tantrum inside of my base. So, like, friendly or no, I really don't know how else to react. Because eventually I'm going to see something that says, like, oh, they decide to rip a, a hole through the neck of one of my guys.
and they're everywhere. They've like I've I've got a pack of deer that just broke into my farm. Is there really like can I make a new squad? Hang on, can I add No, obviously you can't add humans to a squad. Well, these guys, the monster hunters don't ID these guys as, like, people. And evidently, looking at this elk bird. And their current health, they're not really me. But they are covered in Besmar. I don't have fucking time to care about. I just don't have time to care. I don't fucking care. Like, look, they, they haven't attacked anyone. I'm done. Let them just hang out, I guess. In my stairwell. Let their whole pack run up and down my stairwell as much as they like, I guess, because that's all they're going to do. They're just going to keep running up and down my stairwell and kind of terrorizing my farm. Hang on. Did they get scared? No, they're hauling stuff. Okay. I thought for a second that they were scared of the guys, and I was like, if they're scared of these guys, then I'm absolutely fucking dealing with this. I'm gonna send down, like, every single guy in my town to kill them. But it seems like they were running upstairs to make a delivery. Have we dug out the coffin zones? Okay, build burial coffin holes, please. Put them there. I'm, what? Was that a fucking barrel that, they, that someone hucked in the hole? Surely I labeled that as garbage. According to the wiki, the elk birds are underground chocobos. Dude, well, they look like monsters, one. And two, it, I would argue that a chocobo could kill a man very easily if it fucking wanted. And that's mildly unsafe. All right, the coffins are placed. I'm gonna designate these as tombs. No. This here is the, hang on, I might need to do this as a one by one or they're gonna dump the body in the middle of the fucking hall as they've done before. Hang on, cancel, tomb. This here is the tomb of everyone's favorite dead fucking guy, Besmar. Long may you be dead. Amen. And over yonder we have the tomb of, uh, let's hear it for him. Uh, everyone's second favorite guy. So little, long may you be dead. Amen. Do not come back. That would be problematic as freaking heck. Thank you and goodbye. Happy now, everyone. Turn those frowns upside down. Now then. But do you guys think these guys have been... They're just in the stairwell, dude. Like... They're just, like, actually loitering in the stairwell. Like, we have to... I don't... They're terrified of us. They need to leave. Have we collected the bodies now? We have. We're finally burying that those fucking idiots. Okay. So, throughout all seasons from now on, this spot will be doing Plump's helmets. We won't be doing anything else on that spot. Okay. Across all seasons from now, 
dimple seeds will be planted here. And here, go to sweet pots. And occasionally cave wheat. Are these fucking things gonna eat? My goddamn crap. No, I'm just gonna say we're not allowed to go out there anymore. Yeah, follow the rules. Why does it give like a scary alert of like horrible death? Wait a minute. Sodel Sooth Karatarash, ghostly recruit. Hold up. What do you mean ghostly? <laughs> now hold down a second. Were you a ghost for a second there, Sootle? Now, why don't we all just take it easy for a second, Soodle? I was gonna bury you. <laughs> Any day now, Soodle. He was only back for a second. He appeared and was like, what's up? Why am I not in the ground? And then we put him in the ground. So he's okay now. Get these rat remains out of here for fuck's sake. Oh my god, the fucking thrones here are so ugly. It's just such a absolute tragedy that the game doesn't make this part easier. Well, has the other one been buried? Are they both put to rest? Okay, Besmars is labeled properly. Sodals makes me think there's still something wrong, but I'm not gonna worry about it. His is a mangled corpse. Maybe that's the issue. It'll be fine. Part of him somewhere else? If part of him is somewhere else, I really don't know what to do. Because... No, it's just some dead fucking body parts. I mean, it's a lot of his blood. But if there's any more of him anywhere, it's in a spider's belly. Okay, well. Hopefully. The new farm setup will... God, I cannot believe they're still here. Look, I'm not gonna let these guys get to me, though. Chat, this says open space, even though I can- I can tell that's magma 7 out of 7 totally inundating this area. The level I want to make the magma forge is here, right? It's right here, where it stops saying 7 out of 7. That's actual safe floor. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to pick a spot that doesn't have shit that can dive on top of me and fucking kill me. But unfortunately the whole place is kind of like that, so we're just gonna have to put a roof down. We'll have to do some secure- look, the thing is, it's gonna- it's gonna be great. Maybe we- would it be better to like, let magma su- Chat, would it be better to sacrifice a dwarf in the interest of letting magma siphon in to, like, a safer area for the magma forge than this giant fucking thing? Hmm. I think it would just overflow and I end up fucking it up. Depends, do any shit talking dwarves need to need to vanish? I just don't really know how to channel it correctly, and I'm not really interested in 
trying very hard to look i think i can do like just setting it up with like a roof properly and then sealing that part back up after and i think it would serve the same purpose like i can already see where i'd want to do it how big is a magma forge i guess that's the better question it's not that big so we can fit we could do like a There is magma pressure, but it shouldn't be that much since you're at the top. Look, all I'm saying, Chad, is that when I check the other section, I'm not... I'm seeing magma crabs, actually. I'm seeing mag, magma crabs. <laughs> Hold up. Everyone stop. Okay, a small rock-eating creature that lives in molten rock. It scurries on little feet and swims through liquid rock with sharp wings. It uses magma to digest rock and spits out burning globs. I'm not fucking dealing with that. We're going to do the channel plan. So how do I fucking do this? This floor is all fine and safe. Okay. So I can do this without any magma problem. This is safe. I need to like micromanage the fuck out of this. Oh, I actually need to go up now really quick. I'm gonna remove this still. I think once this batch of plump helmets is done, they'll stop planting it. And that's what we want. Because I want to... Uh, I want us to move on from that now. Moving everything downstairs. And we've already got the permanent brew order. Which will now go downstairs. Right? Yes. Good. Nice. The fucking thing is still in there. Help! 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 Alright. Get digging, boys. Help! So nothing is going to flow up because we're technically a level up. So I don't need to worry about this flooding down into the farm. And also, I'm going to fucking save before I do this. I'm just not going to take that chance. But, uh... Did the game really just crash out while saving? Because if so, uh... We just lost, like, um, what would be about 30 to 40 minutes of time. No shot, man. No fucking way, dude. No way. <laughs> it crashes, but it's still saved. I sure fucking hope so, dude. Early autumn 101. That's the most recent one. don't think it did just about the fastest way to make me stop the stream uh, I think is if it just set us all the way back to the trader oh yeah wow yikes dude uh yeah I'm, I'm done I'm done then I guess I'm not gonna play anymore I don't want to play now <laughs> I actually don't want to play this game anymore now because of that, that just took all the wind out of my sails instantaneously. Holy shit, dude, that's, that's like the fucking worst bug you can have is an actual fucking like crash on manual save. I guess in response, 
I'll go into the auto save thing and maybe for next time. You're telling me the soonest auto save you can do is seasonal, so it didn't even matter? I never made it past fall. There was never going to be a sooner auto save. Ever. It was never going to happen. There was never going to be an earlier auto save than the one I just have right now. Because I was still in fall. Hey devs! Your game's great, but if your auto saves are crashing your fucking game, you need to fix it, dude. Not even auto save, manual save. The most important thing to never have break is when someone desperately wants to save their game. It's not like there's a speed up button. I'm gonna check one more time futilely. Nope. Oh boy. Devs, is there more than one? Well, technically this Steam version is a process and product of a larger team. A lot of it is like the graphical tile set stuff, but at the same time, I assume Kit Fox Games is probably observing stuff like this more than the uh, just single dev is. So I'm, I am i don't care about the lore of how long they've been working on it. If they've been working on it for 20 years and the game still crashes when you select a manual save, that's something they need to fucking fix. I do not care about that. I don't. <laughs> I'm mad. It's got to be solved because that's rough. But I'm going to guess, uh, I, I, I'm going to guess it's a Steam version problem, and it'll be fixed, but, oh boy, that, um, that's it for me. I don't want to play anymore. I'm not going to delete the VOD. We'll probably do more Dwarf Fortress at some point, but, um, that really just took the wind out of my sails fucking instantaneously. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to start at, uh, 2. We're going to be, I might start a little bit earlier, maybe 2, a little later, maybe 2.30. So a bit earlier than I usually do, we're going to be doing the uh, Choo Choo Charles thing. Uh, that game's coming out. But uh, yeah, I can't. I, I, I can't. I was having a lot of fun, but when a game takes away literally 30 minutes, 40 minutes of game for me, I can't do that. I just can't. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over to Brett because I have D&D in an hour. So uh, go hang out over there. Go hang out. I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time. But, uh, yeah, I can't. can't, man. Just fucking can't now. Can't. See y'all tomorrow. Goodbye.